been seeing a lot of pinks and cranberries in eyeshadows in the fashion magazines lately. And when I did my Harley Quinn costume for Halloween, I put red eyeshadow on one side and blue on the other. And the red was not nearly as bad as I would have imagined it would be. So today we are going to play with some cranberry and pink tones. And yes, I'm celebrating the occasion by wearing a shirt with sleeves. Whoa, huh? How's that for exciting? Crazy. Okay, let's get to it. At the beginning of summer, I purchased the e.l.f. BB cream in Fair, and it was too fair, but I went ahead and used it a lot during the course of the summer. So today I bought some e.l.f. BB cream in Medium, which is of course way too dark. And today I'm going to be blending the two together for the very first time. So those of you who like to be harshly critical about everything, please bear in mind, I have never done this before and it is the very first time that I am doing it right in front of you. Why am I using a BB cream instead of my usual foundation? Well, I'm getting to the point in the, the changing of the seasons where I'm a little bit too light for my summertime foundation but I'm not as fair as I will be in a few weeks, so I'm hesitant to go out and purchase anything new at this time. But I will use my, oh yes, my, that is dark. I'm just using a little bit of that. My $3.39 BB cream, I think will do just fine. So mixing the two tones together, I'd say it's about 75% of the fair and 25% of the medium. I'd say that's pretty darn close. This is not a heavy coverage foundation, and I kind of like that right now. There are times when you want something really heavy, and I've been working really hard on trying to improve the texture and quality of my skin, and I'm happy with it at the moment, and I don't have any desire to cover it up too much. I still want the skin to show through. does take a longer time for the BB cream to dry down, I have found. So you do have lots of blending time. Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, this is starting to sound like this is completely sponsored by Elf, and I swear to God it's not. It's just, you know, the products are very reasonably priced, and that's what I choose to purchase a lot of times. So, Elf Powder. I have also become a fan of the e.l.f. under eye setting powder because it seems to be milled just a teensy bit finer so it doesn't go into the creases around my eyes quite so much. It comes with a little tiny brush that's just a joke so I use whatever brush lands in my hand. Don't you wish I gave you better advice about brushes? I sure wish I knew more about brushes. NARS Orgasm Blush. I always go a little bit heavy on the blush right at first because I have found that by the time I am walking out the door, this blush will not be in these. Well, I know right now it looks a little doll like. It looks a little like. Oh my gosh, why did she just put like two pink spots on her cheeks? But I know that by now, I've learned, for me personally, it's going to fade quite a bit. I'm sure you have by now discovered your own habits with blush. Some people it 
fades, some people it doesn't. So yes, I know that to you right now, my blush looks like two bright pink spots on my cheeks, but I can guarantee that when I walk out my door tonight, it is not going to look like that. A little bit of highlighter. I like the Naked Flushed Trio, and I use the highlighter from this. This is the Physician's Formula Canyon Classics, and I have really been liking this as my eyebrow color. So I've pretty much stopped using pencil for, you know, these last couple of weeks. That'll change, you know, I go in fits and spurts with all sorts of things. I do something for two weeks and then I stop doing it and then I do it again. And do you do that? Because I do that all the time. So I'm going with the dark tone and the big side of my mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. And hopefully I will be kind enough to allow you also to see what I am doing. Mirror from Costco, Conair, also available at Amazon and I will dream, drop a link down below. I had a pimple pop up in my eyebrow. Very annoying and do you make it darker? Do you make it lighter? Hard to cover? It's, it's been a little weird so I'm having to like adapt. Yay, change. So that is the reason why my brow is a little bit heavier on this side than it usually is. Trying to cover a little spot. and not doing it well. And now compensating on the other side. For my base color on my eyeshadow, I am going with my Naked 3 palette and I am selecting Limit. That is, whoops. This tone right here. Yeah, that eye just has a pink spot in it and I have no idea why. Yay! That's very natural looking and I want a pinker eyeshadow and I don't really have a pinker eyeshadow. This is a trendy look that I'm not sure I want to run out and buy new eyeshadows for, so I'm going to be creative. This is this inexpensive palette that I have that has these very, very bright tones that I used when I did my Harley Quinn. I'm gonna mix, I don't know which one, let's see. I'm gonna mix this one with a little bit of my same Naked 3 Limit. I'm gonna mix the Limit with that plummy pink tone and see what we get. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty in Love, this very pale, pale pink, just up here on the brow bone. These are all matte colors. This is a MAC pencil that there's not very much left of. I believe this one was called Foxy. And this pencil is definitely on its last legs. It's a little dry. Give that a little blend. This is a MAC color and I don't know what it is off the top of my head. The label has fallen off, but I will look it up and drop it down below for you. Most of the brushes that I'm using today, not all of them, but most of them are also e.l.f. I know, I swear, it sounds like this is sponsored by e.l.f. and it totally isn't. I'm just in a budget mood, I guess. This is a very plummy cranberry. I'm just gonna use to smudge 
right over that and just a little right in the corner. I'm going to use my smudge brush and this dark color and just tap a little bit on the outer corner. Mm -hmm. This mascara was a birthday present from Victoria Marie, the director of Grey is the New Blonde. She came to my birthday party, so thank you, Victoria. And I love it. It's Beauty 360, and look at how sparkly this is. I love it. It's such a fun, fun container. I don't even want to use the mascara. I just want to, like, have this, this around to be all blingy. Let that dry and then I'll do the bottom lashes. I did a review a few days ago for a lip stain called uh, Lip Cocoon by a company called Kalen, and it's very, very drying. I've used it in the last few days and it's, it's really, really drying on the lips. I used it, a lot of people made the suggestion because it takes 10 minutes to dry on your lips before you peel it off, which is kind of a pain. And a lot of people suggested using a blow dryer. Great idea. I used a blow dryer and I think it I think it really needs the 10 minutes to set up because you can see I have really dark pigmentation in one spot, very little on the upper lip and I had a lot of more color on the upper lip. It just took really blotchy and uneven, so not as pleased with it as I would like to be, but that's that's why we experiment. So we learn things. So Using the blow dryer on it did not, it helped it dry quicker, but it did not work as effectively. So there you have it. Not using that for this. I thought I would have more of that on for this demo, but because of the application method, it just didn't do well. So I have a new lipstick anyway that I bought just for this. I really liked that sort of oxblood look, but I, I have a hard time with that super, super dark. So this is a, a lipstick that's sort of about the same color as my t-shirt. It is Maybelline. Hold on. Maybelline number 410 Blissful Berry. And my glasses were a gift from Vicki. Thank you very much. Love them. And these are by a company called Tashin. So I have a few different pairs of these glasses and I'm very pleased with them. So looking at this, you can see this color, need to pick out a lip pencil. So I have a couple of lip pencils that I'm going to try with this and we will see which one is best. This is the IOU Passioned, that's that one. And the N NYX NYX Mauve. And I think the mauve is the color that we want because this is a little bit pinky red. Let me just look at it with the lipstick on my hand, swatch that next to it. Well, it could be, honestly, I could use any of them. If I wanted to skew it a little pinker, I could go this way. If I want to skew it a little browner, I could go this way. Are either of them actually right? I don't know. I'm gonna skew it a little browner. I'm gonna go with the mauve. Don't know if that's the right call, but that is the call that I am making right at this moment. Tomorrow, I can choose the other one, but I can only do one right now. Okay, here we go. New lipstick, it's so exciting. 
oh my gosh, my lips are chapped. It's that, that lip cocoon. Boy, it really dried my lips out. So I'm going to say that is, after days of using it, save it for the days that you, you it's a good product, but I wouldn't use it every day. I've been using it every day. I, I would save it for just the times when you need a lipstick to last like that. It's, it's not an everyday lipstick unless you have very naturally moist lips. I want more pink in the eyeshadow. It's just not pink enough. I'm going back into that blush. I wanted a really pink eyeshadow and it's not pink enough. I'm gonna go in with this straight, sort of pinky color. And just to soften that, I'm going back in with some of the IT Cosmetics Love. First off, I always part my hair on this side, so I'm used to like pushing my hair back out of my face like that. And today I parted it on this side, which always fluffs it up a little bit, but I never know what to do with my hair. It's like, yeah, which way do I flip it? So that's a little weird for me. I always feel like I look like somebody else when my hair is parted on the other side. <laughs> okay, honestly, I don't love it. Maybe it's just that I am not accustomed to seeing these tones on me, but I feel like this cranberry and pink look is something better suited to a younger complexion. I just feel like it's a bit harsh on me. I will enjoy it for today. Uh, I will probably do it again. I like the lipstick. I definitely want to exfoliate my lips more that Lip Cocoon has been very drying. Definitely passed the kiss test. It does not hold up to an enthusiastic BJ though. I have yet to find a lipstick that does. And really by that point, who cares? So there you have it. There is my uh, opinions on all sorts of things. And I sound really cranky today, don't I? And I'm not, I guess it's just, it's overcast and I just, you know, when it's overcast, I, I don't know, sometimes that's nice and sometimes it, that just makes you want the sunshine and I just kind of want the sunshine. But the sun will come out again tomorrow, won't it? Yes, it will. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Hope you have fun playing with different things and changing up your look and experimenting and trying new things. Even if you don't love them, at least you gave it a shot. Have a fabulous day. Talk to you soon.